Good morning. I'm Jean Ellen, and this is the Great Southwest. It's early. It's so early in the morning. But I've got something to share with you that I've got a feral cat, apparently, in my bedroom. And he won't leave. So this is the story. I've been taking care of some homeless kitties where I work. And one of them turned out to be a Siamese, beautiful Siamese with blue eyes. And I thought, well, you know, he can't be, he must belong to somebody. So I trapped him and I brought him to the vet. We found out that he wasn't microchipped. And I put out, you know, feelers saying, hey, did anybody lose a Siamese cat? Nobody answered. So I decided, well, maybe I, I could take him home and add him to my clan of cats that I have at my house. So that was two weeks ago. And it's not working out. I think he is a feral cat, even though he's a beautiful blue-eyed Siamese. Um, when we first trapped him, we let him loose in our garage because we weren't sure if he had any, um, you know, communicable diseases kind of thing that my other cats could catch. So we kept him in the garage, but loose. And we didn't see him. We didn't see him for four days. And so we're like, okay, this isn't the way this is supposed to be. So we, uh, at that point is when we decided we were going to bring him into the vet. So we trapped him again, brought him into the vet, actually had him fixed, brought him back home, found out that he is six years old. Uh, we named him Blue, but I was surprised that he was a six-year-old cat. That also led me to believe that he couldn't be feral because outdoor cats usually don't live that long. Um, so I figured he just needed time. So this time I let him loose in my bedroom, thinking that, you know, it's, it's better, it's more comfortable, I can keep an eye on him, I can actually see him. Well, that didn't work out either, because he was terrified. And he crawled into um, the closet that was full of junk and hid in there for a week. Slowly we started emptying the closet of the junk so we could see him. Well, that backfired because now he won't be in the closet because he's not hidden anymore. And he is sleeping or just living his life inside my side table drawer, this tiny little drawer. He crawls up in there, and yesterday he was there from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. at night. It's just not the way to live. So we have decided that we're gonna trap him again and bring him back to where we originally found him. It's not the optimal solution, but he was surviving there. Maybe he was happy, but now he's fixed. He has his shots. They checked him out, he, he seems to be healthy. Let me see if I can show him to you before we, I don't know when we're gonna trap him, we're gonna try tonight. But um, let's go see where he's at. Okay, well this is my room. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, he kind of destroyed it last night. Where are you, Blue? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, this place is destroyed. Do, do, do. Oh, Blue, where you be, boy? Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. Light, light brown, light brown object is blue inside my side table drawer. And he will probably stay there until tonight. I opened up my bedroom window, actually took the screen out last night. I, I, I kept it like this until midnight, hoping he'd want to leave, and he didn't. So I had to close it, and then when I got up at 5 this morning, I opened it again, and uh, he still didn't take it. I don't know about this cat. He's got issues. All right, well, the first video you're gonna see is when we saw Blue at the place I work at through a very dirty window, but he was so skittish, that's the only, play, you know, only way I could get a video of him. And then another video of him being in the garage and us finally locating where he was at. And then um, some other pictures of him.
Can you zoom in? And if you want, Barry, you can show this to Zach. I have a good picture of him in the crate with the blue eyes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. he's going to send me whatever he has to have. Hi, baby. All I saw were those back legs. That's all I saw. I didn't even see the body because he's so sandy colored. And I didn't expect him to be in. Mm. He's in there. You can't see him, but that's him. That brownish. Hey, Blue. Hey, Blue. Little guy. Hey. I know you think I can't see you, but I can see you. Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? If I reached in and petted you, would you let me do that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm petting blue. First time ever, petting blue. That's wonderful. <laughs> okay. All right, well, that's where we stand at the moment. Uh, the plan is that we're gonna try to trap Blue again tonight. I hate to keep trapping that poor thing, but I'm gonna trap him tonight and return him to the uh, community he was living in outside my work, uh, hopefully tonight if he gets into the, the trap tonight. And I will keep you guys posted. So thanks for joining me today. This is Jean Ellen in the Great Southwest. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and better yet, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.